Welcome to Advent of Code 2022. On day one, we're given a bunch of numbers and they are grouped, uh, separated by these empty lines. And we shall add the numbers and the groups together and for the first part, find the biggest sum. Okay, it's quite useful to ha have a helper function that takes this long complicated string and splits it yeah, basically into a two-dimensional vector, right? Where the first uh, paragraph is split into three lines, then the second paragraph, then the third paragraph here is split into two lines, the next one into three lines and so on. So we can bury the regular expression stuff in this function. Okay, so first of all, let's see uh, what our task is. So the first idea is to split at these characters. So basically two new lines right after each other, but I have additional spaces here just because my IDE loves to indent um, multi-line strings. Okay, so we can say string split, then our char sequence is S and the regular expression would be backslash N, then a bunch of spaces and again backslash N and a bunch of spaces. And let's see what we get then. Then here's our, whoops, our first paragraph, second paragraph, third paragraph, and so on. Um, and then we want to split each of those paragraphs again. So maybe let's uh, put that in a, in a for comprehension, let's call that paragraph, okay. And then we want to call string split on on those paragraphs again. So that would be our paragraph and then just a single um, backslash n followed by optional spaces. Yeah, and then we already have our desired two dimensional structure. That's quite useful for today and maybe even for the following days, who knows. Okay, so then let's start the real part one. Now that we have this two dimensional structure, we want to add the um, inner uh, vector numbers basically. So I think another four is probably useful. So let's say the elf calories in the paragraph lines of all calories. So we basically loop over these inner vectors. And then we want to map a function over those strings. So we have numbers instead. So that would be map pass long over the elf calories. And then that looks like this. So here, instead of a vector of strings, now we have a sequence of numbers. And then we can simply add all those numbers up. That would be uh, reduce via plus starting with zero. And then that looks good also. Um, and then we could look for the maximum. But there's a, an interesting optimization. So elf categories is a sequence. Then we map the pass long function over that giving us another lazy sequence. And then we call reduce. And whenever you have this kind of pattern, you can optimize that by saying trans Juice instead of reduce, then the map pass long, and then the plus, the zero, and um, the collection or the sequence. Right? That does the exact same thing, but we we don't have to materialize this lazy sequence in memory. Okay, so let's see if that gives us the same result here. Yeah, that gives us the exact same result. And now we're interested in the maximum. So we can simply apply the maximum function or the max function, and then the test passes. Yeah, and I like to order stuff the other way around. So first we compute the four comprehension and then we apply the max function over that. So I like to reverse that with the thread last macro uh, and then do it like this. That should give us the exact same result. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that was part one. And now for part two, we don't want the maximum value, 
we want um, the top three value basically added up. So let's start maybe uh, without the apply max so we can understand the uh, problem again. So this is how far we were. And now we want the three biggest numbers added up. They happen to be at the very end of the sequence here, but of course, in general, they could be anywhere. So what happens if we sort the sequence, then <laughs> they are definitely at the end, at the wrong end. So a cute trick is to say, instead of sort, we say sort by minus, then the order flips around because we sort them by their negative value, basically. So negative 24,000 is the smallest number and hence 24,000 is the biggest number. Okay, then we are only really interested in the first three. We can simply say take three, then the rest is gone. Only three numbers are left. And then we can again reduce with plus starting at zero. And then the test passes, we get 45,000 as a result. Okay, and again, the take gives us a lazy sequence, which we then reduce over. But take uh, doesn't necessarily take a collection. We can also call it without a collection, the uh, transducer arity. So again, we can optimize this and say transduce uh, take three as the transducer and then plus starting at zero. And then we can get rid of uh, these two guys like this. Yeah, and that works also. Cool. So. I think that was a quite nice introduction for day one. I hope the next several days aren't that much harder as long as I can finish in under one or two hours. I think I'm going to um, continue uploading these videos.